for the times when we want to tube the calf, and feed the calf through the oroesophageal tube. Again, the procedure is pretty simple. Simply remove the cap from the bag, thread on the esophageal tube, get a nice tight fit on that. Now, for feeding with the tube, sometimes I prefer to not use the bag carrier. That allows me to approach the calf with the tube kinked, so I'll kink over the tube, it won't break. I'll kink over the tube. Now I can hold the bag with one hand as I put the tube down the calf's throat, make sure it's in a good position, and then I'll straighten the bag out to feed the calf. We'll kink that tube over. Get the tube right down the side of the mouth and let the calf swallow it nice and slow. Then I can hold up everything in one hand. Oh. If we need to, the calf can be fed laying down. It's good that they just keep swallowing and chewing. We'll just try to keep the calf up sternal. So it's important when we put the tube in and when we remove it that the bag be down lower than the tube or that we kink the tube off just so that there's not fluid flowing in as we're going in or coming out. And that way we help prevent the calf from aspirating that colostrum into its lungs. So now when I'm finished, I'll simply kink off the tube again, lower the bag, and just gently withdraw the tube.